Hi everyone! This week's toy hunt is filmed at Target and in front by the cash registers. They have a ton of new Pokemon items. Look at this little playmat deck set with all the different starters. It's hard to get here because they have this huge box thingy in the way. <laughs> but they have some of the new Pokemon Go pin sets. They have cute little Bulbasaur and you do get a pin and then they have Squirtle and that's a Black Star promo card as well. They don't have Charmander but I know they make the little Charmander one which is really cute. And then they also have some new tin sets. They have the Lost Origin um, a trainer box and they have the super cool Dialga box as well as a matching Palkia and those come with um, the little pin. You get the V-Star. Ooh, they have Zero Aura. This box looks really cool. You don't see much, too much of Zero Aura, so good to see him getting some love. The artwork looks awesome. And it looks like the V-Star is the way the TCG is going, too. I don't know if that Verizian box is new, but they have it. They have a great stock of Pokemon stuff, which is awesome. And then they also have a nice section of blind bags. I'm in a different Target that I don't usually film at, but they have a nice variety. We have some poppy blind bags. Look at that. That's that's pretty cool. I definitely like exploring different places because all stores are not the same. They stock differently. They have different items. They have a nice selection of figural key rings. They have that newest Harry Potter set as well as the little mini figures. So definitely a great variety, especially in the Pokemon card part. And then, my goodness, they have the Monster High, Target, Ghoulia, and Claudine, which I haven't found her yet. So that's amazing, too. I think that completes all the dolls that I've seen. But here's a closer look at Ghoulia. I love the royal blue hair. Oh my goodness, her book bag is like a brains design. <laughs> Looks like she has a Nintendo Switch, a skateboard, a little beanie. Uh, Ghoulia is an awesome character. And I'm finally seeing Claudine for the first time. Love the fangs. And she has a little crescent. I guess she has a fur wrap that goes around her shoulders, kind of in that, that classic outfit that we all know and love. And then Cleo's gorgeous. I think they did a great job with Cleo. And then they also have a Frankie um, two-pack here. That's pretty cool. Frankie and Deuce there. I like his shirt. And it looks like they have the coffee bean again. It's the coffee break. Deuce and Frankie coffee break. Oh, that's really cool. So definitely very well start, stocked <laughs> at Target. And then, oh my goodness, they do have the Coffin Bean playset. Yes. I remember Loki regretting not getting it from the G1, but here you go. Oh, that's really cute. You get the couch, you get some little desserts. Oh my goodness, this might go well with Remint. And I love just the whole play on Coffin Bean because Coffee Bean is actually my favorite coffee place. So this is um, $49.99. And when I want to go to Coffee Bean, I still call it Coffin Bean. And Mr. Bird Love just goes with it, which which is cool. But this would work well with any size um, of the dolls, whether G1, G2, G3. So that's pretty awesome. Wow. And that two-pack looks, looks really cool. I wonder, and he has the Coffin Bean drink too. And he has a little um, barista apron. So... I wonder if he works there um, in the cartoon or something. Very awesome. Love to see. And this Target has a small Encanto section, but they have a Dolores full-size doll. And look at her, her hands to her ear. That's awesome. And then the Target exclusive pack with that stuffed little Jaguar figure. That's cute. I've never seen the Dolores um, large-size doll before. That's awesome. She's so cute. I like that character as well. And then up here, it looks like they have the Rainbow Vision band, and they have the new pink and purple doll. It's my first time seeing the, the purple-haired one. She's pretty cute. She has a nice outfit, so that's cool. I think there is one more in, in their band. And then Care Bears has a new cute little bear, <laughs> that yellow one. And then we also have the Disney Dorables, the 30-figure pack, the Real Littles, which those are amazing. Look how colorful. I just love their packaging. And then we have some little Woodsies and Polly Pocket. I've had my eye on this little cat play set. It's, or the cat compact. It's like a sushi set. And then they also have the LOL Sweets. 
as well as the Otter Pop ones, which still have my eye on those. And then I don't know if these are new, but they have the small little dolls. Um, they're very color themed. I, I, I lose track of all the LOL stuff sometimes, but they have some of those, which look pretty cool, as well as a lot of the OMG dolls. Lots and lots of dolls. And then I believe the newest one are the, the fashion series, which we found a couple weeks back as well. Next dial over with the electronic pets, they have this interesting little mix-a-lot. I think it's a, a speaker and it's like a marshmallow, <laughs> random and cute. And then they also have more of the Magic Mixies crystal balls. It looks like, again, that glow-in-the-dark one. I don't know for certain if it's the Target exclusive, but your pet does glow in the dark as well as light up, so that's kind of cool. And then over here they have these Squirkies, and I know some of you told me that these are pretty fun. They're fidget toys, fidget pets, I guess. <laughs> oh, that snake's cute. So I am curious about these because they do have different functions, and they also have this little mole car. I don't know, but it actually looks kind of cute. I wonder if they're flocked or if they're cloth. Those are definitely new. So I'm, I'm in the mood to try out new things. <laughs> and then this Target has a really small Squishmallow section, but they have that Dino Buddy. And then they also have one Mystery Squad. And these are the dessert ones or the drinks. They're cool. Oh, and they have an Angler Fish and then some like large Jumbo ones. And in the Transformer section, they still have a, a lone Dinobot there. Um, not too much away of new things. And then down here they have Optimus Prime. Okay, that is really cool. That that is just awesome. And he has the original voice for Peter Peter Cullen there. And then we have the Black Adam figures, so they're starting to make an appearance. They also have a page puncher, but that's like the comic book style. And then some of Marvel. Oh, look at this. They have a Legends Mojo. I think he's an X-Men villain, and he, he's freaky. They have Silver Surfer. I love the Super 7 figures. And then over on this side, it looks like they have their anime section at this Target. They have a couple Target-exclusive Funko Pops. As well as My Hero Academia. They have, actually have a nice line of, of anime ones. And some figures as well and then i figured they were gonna make the legendary bird trio and sure enough here's here's a uh, moltres so that was the last one he looks really yellow but i guess so i was expecting more orange oh okay he's out with lucario they didn't change the box too much but there you go the last in the legendary bird trio and I'm eventually gonna need to pick him up for sure. I don't know if it's this time, but I gotta get Mr. Bird Love his his birds. <laughs> That's awesome. And then really quick, they have this cool Gundam mini figure. These two, they come in like these little capsules, but they're visible figures and they just look really awesome. I love the art style. So if you're into these, I don't know. There's something really neat about them. They're made by, by Bandai as well. Very, very tempting, but I hope they make more. And then here's a look at the wrestling section. They have Macho Man there. As well as some new Star Wars stuff. So they have these little plushies that make sounds. There's the Blarg <laughs> from The Mandalorian. That's awesome. They also have a Salacious Crumb. Oh wait, it's his tummy. Oh, actually, he's not hes not making sounds today. <laughs> it's okay. We love you, Salacious. And then, oh, this is a cool new um, Black Series Mandalorian figure. It's from Season 2 with the, the Ice Spiders. That was, that was a lot of them. <laughs> they also make a Lola plushie as well as um, a new Galaxy pal of this little Ewok. Um, they're in a pink little hoodie. There's a little Grogu down there the cool masks, and then this interesting droids cartoon collector Boba Fett figure. And I guess that's how Boba Fett appeared, the colors that were used in that cartoon. <laughs> that's really cool. 
I've never, I've never seen it. I know his first appearance was in like the Notorious Holiday Special, which is a good time. Look it up on YouTube. It's um, it's definitely a trip. And then they have Boba Fett from the Mandalorian series with his mask off, and you can put the mask on, which is actually really cool. And then they have that character too. So nice to see more of the Kenner Black Label ones as well. That one's cool. And then this is sort of like the jumbo section getting ready for the holidays. They have the huge 35 figure adorables. They have the 200 piece Shopkins Real Littles, the the night, late night snacks. <laughs> and then they also have the jumbo LOL OMG. I'm gonna keep my eyes on these for any like maybe potential Black Friday sales. I don't know, but um, it seems like they gather all their big items. They also have a Polly Pocket, but it's not the miniatures. Oh, and look at, they have um, a Maximus that you can ride if you're a little kid, which, that's cute. <laughs> Target has a very cool Wakanda Forever display. It has the end cap and two side caps, which is awesome. There's a couple new Lego sets. And that one looks really cool too. I'm really excited for this movie out in November, right? And then they have these deluxe dolls. Oh, wow. It's from the Fierce Collection. That is gorgeous. Nice to see these. I didn't, I didn't know they were coming out. They have Shuri. And nicely detailed too. And then my favorite, Okoye. <laughs> That is so awesome. I love the detailing on the outfit. Her uh, skirt piece almost looks like Hyde. These are $49.99. They're absolutely gorgeous. I like the back art. Gives you a little wording of the Dora Milaje, which is awesome. So very cool dolls. And then they also have a Dead Strange and a uh, Scarlet Witch Funko Pop, like, two-pack set. I don't think it's a Target exclusive, but that's cool. I haven't, it's part of their Moment series. I haven't found this one in stores yet. Pretty neat. And on the end cap to the action figure aisle, they have more Funko items, as well as this Target exclusive Iron Man. Uh, black light pop and t-shirt they have more black light pins the black light book bag the mini backpack which are awesome look at how cool and it also has like that comic book art and then in back in the funko section speaking of the comic book art they have the star wars set darth vader stormtrooper c-3po luke all in the comic art style you get the four pack it's a target exclusive Oh man, that is that is tempting. Those look awesome. I have the Funko Soda of Luke in that art style, the comic art. We also have a lot of older older pops. We have the Target exclusive ones up here. We have some Hawkeyes. We have some um, Sylvie. <laughs> and then into the horror section and some plushies. And yep, Bob Ross is up top in the horror section as, as usual. <laughs> I'm back home from my toy hunt. The rest of the video is the haul portion in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased and I knew I was going to buy a Monster High doll eventually and I settled on Gulia Yelps. This was my first time seeing her in person. I think they did an amazing job. I like how she's displayed in the package. Her little legs are crossed. She has the brain book bag. Sir hoots a lot. She's also one of my top faves from the original generation and I believe this one's a Target exclusive too. So she's awesome. I'm still not sure if I'm going to leave her in package or open her. That, that's to be determined. I feel like I bought some, some bigger items. So my next purchase was this cool Polly Pocket. It's like the Sushi Cat Cafe, which that is adorable. Look at the detail on the little mini sushi set right there. It comes with like a vending machine. You have the cat compact. So I, I'm just loving all the Polly Pocket stuff and, and details and this set in particular has so many like little mini food items and I like the new dolls that bend. They're not like the rubbery ones. They fold at the waist like the classic Polly Pockets. There's like even a little sleeping kitty right there. <laughs> And these big compacts are $14.99, which I think is a really fair price and a pretty good value for like all the little mini pieces you get.
And then the last two items, I'm trying out a new product. Some of you recommended this. These are Scorkies and they're little fidget pets. And I do love a good fidget toy. And they had some cute animal characters. So I picked up two of them. Look at how adorable. One of you mentioned the monkey's a good one, but they didn't have the monkey. So I got Pop Pop Butterfly. It does have the pops and I think it makes that turning sound. And then I also got Squiggly Snake which this one looks cute. And just its name, Squiggly Snake, is absolutely adorable. It looks like they have a little chameleon too. There's a lot of cuties and a little turtle. So definitely want to give these a try. So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.